Japan vlogs. We are currently in Osaka and if you've been following the series then you'll know that a few days ago we actually was in Universal Studios Japan and we skipped a day because we were feeling a bit fluey yesterday so we took a day off and today we are back into Osaka to explore all of the street food that the region has to offer. We're starting a day off at Shinsekai which is kind of like the retro district so over here you've got a ton of different restaurants and bars and shopping and arcades and you've got really really cool things like a giant puffer fish hanging over there. So today I really want to go around and eat a ton of street food and then um, because <laughs> hello um, yeah, today I really want to go eat a ton of street food because Osaka is known as the nation's kitchen and it's a place where if you're a foodie you are going to be in heaven because there's so much on offer. So I'm going to start off with takoyaki which are some field octopus balls. It originates from here as well so it's meant to be really really tasty. We had it a few days ago in Kyoto and I did find out that apparently there are over 700 takoyaki stores in Osaka which is four times more than Tokyo. So yeah, I'm ready in my stomach. I feel a lot better after yesterday. I'm ready to eat so let's go and also i feel like a hardcore student today because i've got my new scarf first up we're going to try some takoyaki which are like filled octopus balls and i especially wanted to try these here in osaka because they're known for this year and okonomiyaki this one comes with eight for 350 we've got some mayonnaise over the top and also some bonito flakes and this one is seems to be a really famous spot because they've got pictures of celebrities and it seems to be the store that everyone is going to so if you come down from the tower it's the store right at the end so when you look into it it's like pink on the inside it's still a creamy batter and you've got some octopus it might be really hot real hot and it's just still like two or three chunks of octopus inside but i would say it's a lot more flavor it's almost got more of the like barbecue taste and it's more salty the rest of the ones before they were bigger and creamier and they were more filling this one's more moorish and there's a little bit more flavor to it and the batter is a really soft consistency but that sauce is so nice. Yeah. It's like a really delicious barbecue sauce. Taco means octopus and yaki means grilled. So we've got grilled octopus, but it's not just that. The actual batter itself is made out of eggs and flour and sugar and dashi stock. You combine it with some green onions and pickled ginger, which gives it that kind of tangy taste. And then you make it in a special pan. And then afterwards you top it up. So I'm just like crossing the road. And then you top it with some mayonnaise and also this sweet sauce, which to me kind of tastes like barbecue sauce. Looking at recipes, it's made with Worcester sauce and ketchup and sugar. And sometimes with sake as well. About 20 minute walk away, we are now at the Namba Yasaka shrine and it's really cool because it's in the shape of a lion's head right here so it's kind of a bit intimidating when you first walk you're kind of like oh there's a lion's head but it's very very peaceful out here and they've also got a temple uh, to go inside as well and surrounded by trees you've got little stores to sit down yeah it's a nice place to be we've been loving our shrines here in japan popping into a Daiso to introduce Hannah to uh, Daiso and also very cheap snacks. So I've got some pickled plum. I'm just going around deciding what else I would like to get. Hmm, anyone who's watched Shin Chan, I love these. Hong Day Bang, I eat them all the time. And these are my favorite um, chocolate snacks that I normally get when I'm in Hong Kong or even in Chinatown in London, but they're like chocolate filled little biscuits. There are so many snacks. Growing up, I so always loved getting shredded squid. I might should get some now. Yeah. department store so I went in there and got some pork dumplings some truffle ones so good um, and also some hot and sour soup and now we are at the main shopping street which is called Dotombri and basically it is the place where you come to for street food it's a line of restaurants it's a line of bars and you've got so much choice here and after 5 p.m. all the neon lights come so this is when like a sucker comes alive so let's go and eat <gasps> the giant gyoza one look <laughs> This 
plate is meant to be really, really popular um, for takoyaki, but I feel like I've already had it quite a lot on this trip. But if you are here, look for the giant octopus. And also, this place we went to earlier in Shinsekai is known for puffer fish. So you can have it traditionally in a hot pot or actually arranged in a sashimi platter. Yeah, he reminds me of the puffer fish from um, SpongeBob. Next stop, we're gonna get some kushi katsu, which is basically some deep fried meat and vegetable skewers. And, and this place is the most popular place for it. Just look for the angry man as the sign. We've got a list of rules here and they're all very, very hygienic. <laughs> These are the two camemberts. This one is the uh, beef, sweet potato, red ginger, and the fish sausage with cheese. Wow, and it comes in this little grill here. And this is the sauce like a communal dipping sauce and there's a rule even for locals and tourists that you cannot dip your skewer in the sauce more than once because everyone uses that sauce. You've also got some seasoning and some cabbage. Cabbage is for scooping up the sauce onto your dish to avoid double dipping so it saves you having to use a spoon and I guess you can then eat the cabbage afterwards. We also ordered two hot sake to go with it. Yay! And I guess I'm saying that. Oh yeah. It's quite like a thick sauce. I wonder if it's like the same sauce as the um, takoyaki. Yeah. I hope I like the sauce because I just gave it a bath. Taste test time. Looks like this on the inside. Got the batter over the top. And then it's got the sweet, tangy taste of the uh, what's the sauce like dip? Very good. You like that? Anything fried is good. I was telling Hannah when I was having grasshoppers in Thailand, it's always a taste of it, but anything deep fried with salt and pepper tastes good. Wash it down with beer or cocktail. Next up, Hannah there. Mm. This is just a fried ball of camembert batter. It's not too thick, but the sauce makes it so good. Because normally I feel like cheese can be a bit too creamy and full on, but the sauce kind of makes it a lot easier to eat in a sense, but it's tangy. And we're also getting our way through the sake. We didn't realize we we're gonna get a whole bottle of it. So this might be an interesting trip back to Tokyo on the <laughs> bullet train. This one is the classic kushikatsu, so it's beef fried. This is really good. So the beef is a little bit chewy, but it's not dry. And it's a bit of air between the batter and the beef as well, so it's not filled with anything. But basically just imagine a skewer of beef with then like a batter around it. It's pretty good, it's very Moorish. I believe this is made with beef tendons, which explains why it's chewy when you eat it, as opposed to the actual like meaty part. So it's actually an interesting texture because you've got the fatty bits and the chewy bits, and then a deep fried crispiness of the batter. This one is the fish sausage with cheese. So that's the cheese in the middle. But it tastes just like a fish ball with a cheesy bit in the middle, is exactly how you would imagine it to taste. But I would probably say this is one of my favorite ones, this one and the beef one. I'm actually gutted we're getting the bullet train in an hour because I feel like this place gets better as the night goes on because there's so many spots for late night street food, you've got places for drinks and bars and it'd be so cool just to do street food hopping from place to place for like the rest of the night so next time we come back to Japan I'll have to do a whole video trying as many street food stores as I can but today I'm going to do a few select ones um, and the ones that Asaka are known for so yeah next time! You can tell progressively through the videos I start off being like we're in Japan and then like two weeks I'm like we're in Japan <laughs> Final stop of the street food tour and we are at a restaurant called Chibo and it specialises in okonomiyaki which I've had in London before but never actually in Japan for the first time having it but it translates the name as cook as you like it and we have it already made in front of us on the Tokenaki grill um, but it's a savoury pancake made of a flour based batter and inside you combine it with various ingredients so this one has squid, cheese, pork Sausage, a bunch of things. It's basically their special one here and it's just got a mixture of seafood, meat and cheese. And then over the top we've got some mayonnaise, the okonomiyaki sauce and then also some finito flakes over the top. And we're keeping it warm on the grill. It's going to be a full on meal so we've got some plum liqueur to help wash it down. Let's give this a go. It's meant to be like the best dish to have in a sucker with the takoyaki. So we'll end the trip on a good note. We've even got a prop of it looks like looking like it's squirting out mayonnaise for your photos. 
They've actually thought of everything. Yes, you work. Oh, beautiful. Abstract. Yes. Love it. <laughs> it's like cooking mama. It's an mess. Look at that gooey cheese. We've got the batter, and inside the batter we have some squid. We've got some pork. We've got some cheese. There's so much going on in here, and it's a signature one as well. We split this into four. Do you like it? That is so nice. It's like a fried bubble and sweet, so nothing, like, way more going on, it's really tasty. It's basically like a really good late night food when you've got some drinks going on and you want something comforting. Mm -hmm. 